Boy. The problem we're trying to solve is that there are rich teams and there are poor teams. Then there's 50 feet of crap, and then there's us. Hello and welcome to another video from Sales Hunter. Sales Hunter is a community for sales professionals, a space for us to meet, share, and learn. Moneyball, you don't need to understand anything of baseball to get behind this movie. It is started with diamonds in more than one way. I'm using the scenes to discuss about an important topic in sales, uh, that is sales operations. The content is spread across multiple parts. Each video will have a link to the next one. The movie has two main characters, Billie Jean, played by Brad Pitt, and Peter Brand, played by Joanna Hill. Let's begin with part one. Scene one, meeting with the CEO. This is just after the season. Billy is in a meeting with the CEO, asking him, sounds like he's begging him to give a few more thousand dollars so that he can keep the talent in the organization. Many sales leaders have this conversation. A small size company, limited budget, cannot market or recruit talent. It's like a never ending fight against the tide. Sounds familiar? You'll do better next year. Um, we're not gonna do better next year. Why not? Well, you know we're being gutted. We're losing Giambi, Damon, Isringhausen. Done deal. Billy. I need more money. money Compete Billy. against a $120 million payroll with $38 million. Well, I need more money, Steve. Billy. I need more money. We don't have any more I can't more compete money, Billy. against a $120 million payroll with $38 million. Well, we're not going to. Asking you. With tens of $20, $30 million. I'm just asking for a little bit of help. Just get me a little bit closer, and I will get you that championship team. Billy, we're a small market team, and you're a small market GM. I'm asking you. To be okay not spending money that I don't have. Meeting with the internal team. Sometimes the team culture and so called industry best practice are so ingrained in the team that they're not even willing to consider that they have a problem. I love the line if you try to play like the Yankees in here, we will lose to the Yankees out there. He really hits it in the head in, in terms of significance of planning. If you don't plan in here, you don't execute anything in the market space. Typically, it should be the sales guys who should ask the new questions. After all, they are the ones facing the customer. They may not know the answer, but if the sales guys are doing their job, they should be asking the questions. And if they are not, maybe something is wrong or everything is too comfortable. Is there another first baseman like Giambi? No, not really. No. Not and really. if there was, could we afford him? No. No. Nope. Then what the fuck are you talking about, man? If we try to play like the Yankees in here, we will lose to the Yankees out there. Boy, that sounds like fortune cookie wisdom to me, Billy. No, that's just logic. Who's Fabby? Billy's first meeting with Peter. Peter is working as an intern for the Cleveland Indians. This is the paradigm shift conversation. The discussion from nowhere that changes everything. Peter talks about baseball thinking that is medieval. The question we have to ask ourselves is, if our thinking of sales vis-a-vis -vis the market is medieval, are we asking all the wrong questions? And do we really have the right guys, tools, processes in place? What is the goal as a sales team? Is it to buy customers or win customers? Is it profitability or new flag? Is working economics from Yale. New ideas can come from anywhere. Are we listening enough? No doubt the GM of Indian was kicking himself not recognizing the talent right under the nose. Where are you from, Pete? Maryland. 
Where'd you go to school? Yale. I went to Yale. What'd you study? Economics. There is an epidemic failure within the game to understand what is really happening. And this leads people who run Major League Baseball teams to misjudge their players and mismanage their teams. Go on. Okay. People who run ball clubs, they think in terms of buying players. Your goal shouldn't be to buy players. Your goal should be to buy wins. And in order to buy wins, you need to buy runs. You're trying to replace Johnny Damon. When I see Johnny Damon, an imperfect understanding of where runs come. He worked the seven and a half million dollars a year that the Boston Red Sox are paying him. No, no. Data-led discovery. Pete explains his process and strategy of using data to identify opportunities in the market space. I love the idea that Billy Bean, who came through the traditional system, has the patient persistence to learn for the new mindset. For you to even begin to ask questions about the game, the sales game that you are in, do you have the data? Is it the right data? Is it the right information? This is where sales operations will make a huge difference. People are overlooked for a variety of biased reasons and perceived flaws. Age, appearance, personality. Bill James and mathematics cut straight through that. Billy, of the 20,000 notable players for us to consider, I believe that there is a championship team of 25 people that we could afford because everyone else in baseball undervalues them. What are sales operations? The unspoken but overall goal of sales operations is to reduce or eliminate selling thieves. Any process that takes the salesperson out of the field or off the phone or away from selling is a sales thief. As told by Jeffrey J. Fox. Sales operation is strategic, structure, policy, process, technology, Number things, other things. Thank you. As technology and tools improved, the one or two person team that was meant to prepare reports for the managers evolved into a team that could provide data analysis of the business. The availability of more business information also allowed to provide better insights and forecasts business leaders recognize the value of this information. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. Press the bell icon for regular updates on our videos. For more information about SalesAdda, visit our website www.salesadda.org. Thank you for listening to us. Have a great day. Happy hunting.